You know, Mid-South, <laughs> you know, I told you last week that the flamboyant one was going to come out here and I was going to present to you a woman, a real woman, Miss Texas. Well, as you can see, I'm not at TV. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I'm in the Sportatorium back in the dressing room. The world famous Sportatorium <laughs> in God's state, the United States of Texas. And you know, me and Miss Texas, man, we're having so much fun that I ain't coming up to Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana to be on TV. And you know, I might not just ever bring her and show her to you on TV because all you big fat, snaggle tooth, tobacco chewing, toothless, fat, ugly women out there. You know what? You'd all get divorces because your old mans would leave you because they'd all want Miss Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might though. I might just do it. But let's talk about Eddie Gilbert. Eddie Gilbert. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. Texas death match, man. Well, Eddie Gilbert, I don't know what makes you tick. You say it's the fans in Tennessee, the fans in Kentucky, the fans in Indiana. Well, they ain't nothing, Eddie Gilbert. Jerry the King Lawler couldn't do it. I put the king in retirement, no matter what anybody says. Where you at, Lawler? You're home hiding behind your doctors and hiding behind Max Andrews. Now, Eddie Gilbert, Texas death match, man, that means falls don't count. That means it keeps going till somebody can't get back up. Well, Eddie Gilbert, I put your brother out. I put your best buddy out. If your fat old man was around, I'd put him out too. So, Eddie Gilbert, hot stuff. You're next, man. And in that Texas death match, I'm going to teach you what Texas is all about. Now, in this Texas brawl, at the end of the night, lights out Texas brawl, man. You bring anything you want. You wear anything you want. Well, let me tell you, Tennessee sissies, something. You better tighten your belts up. You better lace your shoes up tight because you ain't never been in a fight before like you're going to be in when you get in a Texas brawl because it's anything goes. You can bring anything you want to the ring. Can you imagine what a mind like this would be thinking about bringing Tennessee? Well, it's real simple, Tennessee. Me and the Texas Bunch will see you at the ring. The flamboyant one, Eric Embry. I think Eric's memory gets a little fuzzy every now and then. For one thing, he did not retire Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler is, is, is on what amounts to a medical, medical leave. leave. He's right. not retired at all. And also, his recollection of that match with Eddie Gilbert is not exactly the way it was. Take a look for yourself.
the hot stuff out of Gilbert. Puts Gilbert down on the canvas, rolling around, rubbing his eyes. Embry tagging the turnbuckles. Referee Paul Neighbors trying to get up. Sees Embry tagging him. Calls for the bell to be run. After Embry just sprayed Gilbert with that mess. Well, Embry did, in fact, touch all four of those ring posts, but you saw exactly how he did it. we got a word or two about that right now from this man right here. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert himself headed this way, for I'm sure several words about the flamboyant Eric Embry. Eddie? Well, Dave, I sit back here and I listen to uh, Eric Embry talk about Texas, and he's talking about a lot of things, and he's talking about introducing miss texas and he's talking about how bad the girls in tennessee look and how great the women in texas look and the first thing i want to say is i know some people from texas i know some women from texas and i want to get this straight right now just because texas has some bad people like eric embry tom pritchard steve austin and the texas hangman doesn't make everybody there bad but I want to tell you something, brother. The ugliest girl in Tennessee looks a whole lot better than the prettiest girl in Texas. I don't care who you have. Now, I want to tell you something, boy. You want to come in here, and you want to be Mr. Number One. You want to stand out here and say, I retired the king. I put Eddie Gilbert's brother out and I'm going to put his fat old man out, and I'm going to beat him up too. Eric Embry, you ain't bad at all. You can beat on me all night long. You can beat on me all day long, especially in a Texas death match, because I've already proven something to you, and even though I didn't have to, I've proved something to every man, woman, child out there. You can beat me down, you can make me bleed because I like bleeding. Just make me bleed, Eric. Make me bleed some more. This week, I want you to pull a chain out. This week, I want you to blow some green mist in my face. This week, I want you to that fat little slant out Jap Tojo and get maybe some salt from him. Throw that in my eyes because I'm going to keep coming back and I'm going to keep coming back because, brother, you want to be bad. You ain't seen bad at all till you see hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. Let's see who's bad this week in Texas Dad. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert right there, right there looking for Eric Embry this week. We'll be looking for him. We'll have him back here in the ring later today.